Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new, I am Annie. If you're not, well, hi, I'm Annie. Um, today, I am going to be testing out, I was looking at the box, the Remington Wet to Style. This is kind of like a dupe for the Dyson Hair Wrap. So if you want to hear and see a demo of this and what my thoughts are, this is me using it um, today watch this video and if you like this video like comment and subscribe so that you never miss another hair video with me with tips tricks all that kind of stuff um and also give me comments of things that you want me to try see do if you want simple hairstyles all that kind of stuff leave it down below and without further ado let's get into the review tutorial demo all that kind of stuff okay so how it comes is just like this and then all you do is like twist it on and lock it and then it has a clampy and then it has settings it has a cool and then it has a one and it has a two so the directions say that you are going to wrap it around your hair turn it on to one or two and then you shoot it with cold and i'm pretty sure that that's exactly how the dyson one is so heads up i tried this last night on like I would say like 90% wet hair and it did not work or stay. So I'm gonna try it on dry hair as well as some like damp pieces and we'll see how it goes. So right now it is completely dry. I already added heat protectant in last night so I'm not gonna put any more. And I am going to curl away from the face. So I'm gonna clamp it. I'm gonna do it like my normal curls. Okay, I did high and then cool. Okay, we'll see how that works. Now the other side. I mean, it gave it some body. So maybe this is more of like, it will give you body, it won't really give you curls. I don't know. Okay, let's try the next layer and I'm gonna get this one a little wet. Cause if it's like a blow dryer and you're like round brushing, it needs to be wet, it doesn't, you know, you don't want it to be fully dry. I'm not gonna touch it. Okay, but that one was a wet one. Hmm, that actually looks decent. So maybe the trick is that you just have like a spray bottle near and you just spray it a little. So like I'm, this is one of those like continuous spray things, so. But it just has water in it. Okay, I did my whole head. The consensus of like how it looks right now, like I haven't brushed my fingers through it, is it needs a tiny bit of water. So probably like when your hair is basically dry, then it'll work. Cause like this is a dry piece. Maybe I just don't hold it on long enough, but yeah, I mean, I'll do my bangs after I fluff it, but let's see how it works after I touch it. Okay. Definitely gave it some body. I think that's the point. It's not supposed to really be a curling iron. I think it's just supposed to give you some you know, okay, well, one of these didn't even work, so. Maybe I would just do this on like the top layer because that did take me quite a long time to do. Well, compared to like 
how I normally curl my hair because you have to leave it on. I left it on high for 20 seconds, then I did cool for 20 seconds for each strand. So let's see how that looks. You guys are gonna have to tell me. Yeah, see it's, but overall, I mean, it's not bad. If you want this look, but you don't want like the Dyson hair wrap. Like, you know, I've never used it, so I don't know, but not bad. Throw in some texturizing spray. You could put more at the roots. Let's try the bangs, shall we? Wish it was a big old barrel, but. Okay, I'll just leave that. can't do it with my left hand. Okay, I'm gonna let those set for a second. I mean, overall, not bad. This is $24. I got off Amazon, but I went to Walmart yesterday and I did see it, so. Um, if you have longer hair this than mine, this probably won't really work because you need all of it. It could, but I just don't see it working with longer hair. Um, when it was next to my scalp, it effing burnt like a hurt. Um, oh, they actually styled my bangs really good. Cause usually when I like curl my bangs, it like doesn't work, but this is exactly what I want. Overall, not bad. Like I said, I got it from Walmart or I got mine from Amazon. You can get it from Walmart. Probably Target has it too. But if you want this type of look and you know, less damage because it is air. It is not you. Wait, what is this made of? Ceramic and titanium, which is very good for like helping your hair. Um, it says 50% more protection, 20% faster styling. I don't know. But if you, let's say you have really damaged hair, but you still want curls, but you don't want to curl your hair, this might be a really good option. So take this with what you will granted i've never tried the dyson so i don't know you know but i am not going to spend five hundred dollars i'm not even going even if it's the best thing in the world i will not tell people to spend five hundred dollars um so yeah it only comes with one head i think the other one comes with a bunch of ones but 24 bucks okay okay and like i said it did like you can see for yourself my hair was straight but I don't feel like this is going to last as like I would if I curled it. So as in like not going to last even to tomorrow. Okay, so I'm editing this right now and I wanted to give like my final type of review and consensus over the Remington wet to style curling iron. Okay. Overall, it was it did do what it said it was going to do. However, I returned mine mainly because it took me 16 minutes to do my entire head, and by the end of the day, it was basically straight. Granted, I didn't put any um, hairspray or anything to hold it, so that could have been a factor. But if I was going to have to do it every single day, I don't want to have to put all of that product in my hair every single day. I will say that I read some reviews of what other people were saying off of Amazon. So Amazon's my only source, but that's where like the best reviews are. A lot of people said that it was more damaging to their hair, but they didn't specify if it was because they were holding it longer on their hair than 20 seconds. Because when I did it, I only did it for 20 seconds. I would not go any longer because it has that potential, because it can dry out your hair. If your hair is very moisturized and you are moisturizing your hair, I don't think that you would have an issue. Now, I'm not like a hair scientist, so I'm not a thousand percent sure. But if you like this look and you don't mind doing your hair every single day and you're going to take the precaution of using a heat protectant, probably going to use a texturizing spray or something to hold your hair, and you have very hydrating and conditioning products that you're going to use for your hair, long term, I think that it's a great option. Like I said, for me and my lifestyle of how I know I'm gonna do my hair, it just wasn't, it isn't an option or a tool that I'm gonna use a lot. But if you want 
the Dyson looking like, you know, dupe, $24, it's a great thing to try. If you don't like it, you could always return it, especially if you order it from Amazon, because that's what I did, and that's how I returned it. Um, I had another point, too. Uh, it didn't hold, oh, and if you have longer hair than mine, I don't think it would work. So if you have shorter hair or same length hair as mine, it can give you that length or that body longer hair it's just not going to wrap around the entire barrel so i hope that you found this helpful this wasn't to bash it but just to give an honest review of using it what i thought of it and if i would use it but if it works in your daily routine and your lifestyle i think it's a great option so talk to you guys later bye